To celebrate innovation and excellence in wine tourism around the world, Westgro, the official tourism, trade and investment promotion agency for Cape Town and the Western Cape, extended a call for applications across the Western Cape for wineries to enter the esteemed Great Wine Capital's Best of Wine Tourism Awards for their excellence in these seven categories. Accommodation, Wine Tourism Restaurant, Architecture and Landscape, Arts and Culture, Wine Tourism Services, Sustainable Wine Tourism Practices, and Innovative Wine Tourism Experience. Meet Monica Ewell, Chief Destination Marketing Officer at Westgro. 95% of South African wine farms are in the Western Cape. So it's no wonder that our wine tourism experiences are world-class and very innovative. The Great Wine Capital's Best of Wine Tourism Awards and Wine Tourism Ambassador Awards this year saw some really incredible new additions to the nominations and the categories, and it was a really stiff competition. In particular, we want to showcase the thought leadership that's coming out of the Wine Tourism Ambassador Awards. It is so heartening to see how the individuals that are driving the agenda of sustainability and innovation in the wine tourism experiences have really created a tough competition for each other in this space. We want to thank everybody that applied and congratulate everybody that won. And it really was a stiff competition this year. I want to thank also the judges who had such a tough time choosing the winners this year. And congratulations once again to all of those that won. Here are the winners of the 2024 awards. In the accommodation category, the winner is Brookdale Wine Estate. We've just won the best of wine tourism for great wine capitals in the accommodation category. We are very grateful for this award. Uh, my staff, the team at Brookdale has worked exceptionally hard in the past two years for this phenomenal achievement and we're very, very humbled by it. So thank you very much. In the wine tourism restaurants category, the winner is Jordan Wines with Martinez Ferrer. I'm excited to announce Jordan Restaurant with Martinez Ferrer has won a Wine Restaurant Tourism Award. So we are very privileged to have won this award. It means a lot to the team and myself. It's great for the country and for Stellenbosch. Uh, bringing amazing people to try our amazing wines and my amazing food at the Jordan Wine Estate with Martinez Ferreira. And just to look at this amazing view that we have here and vistas of the beautiful Western Cape. Please join us soon for an amazing lunch. I'd love to host you next time you're in town. In the architecture and landscape category, the winner is Ernie Else Wines. We're really proud of uh, winning the award of the Great Wine Capitals Best in Wine Tourism, Architecture and Landscape Award. For us, it's, you know, the, the work that we've done over the last two years to create a great environment with the architecture of the building that just fills into the landscape. And it's so soft, the, the footprint that we have on, on the landscape. And with the, the natural fan boss that we have around the winery, it just gives a lovely feel for people to come and enjoy an afternoon with their friends and family, drink great Cabernet Sauvignon, which is our focus, red wine on the property. I'd like to really say thank you to my team at Daniel's Wines, a core cool part of the business, Mr. Von Staff, which is the owner um, of the property. Thanks for his vision and invest into the farm. Thank you. In arts and culture, as well as the wine tourism services category, the winner is Creation Wines. It's a real tribute to our team to win this award. Creation is thrilled to have received the Arts and Culture Award for Great Wine Capitals for the second year running. Transformative experiences are what our guests are looking for and nature is the very inspiration and innovation that is creation. And every year we host a new exhibition and our current exhibition titled Equilibrium showcases the work of talented local artists, Nanette and Sean Ranger. Our collaboration is aimed at offering our guests an experience which celebrates the connection between humanity and the beautifully complex world around us. In the Sustainable Wine Tourism Practices category, the winner is Fair Geleegen Wine Estate. This is an honor to win this particular award. It's very aligned with the way we like to do business. Sustainability is not a strategy at Fair Geleegen. It's actually a way of life. It's how we've come to like to do business um, on this particular estate. A number of the projects we've been involved with, Quacha Breeding Project, a rejuvenation of water by eliminating alien vegetation and also eliminating chemicals in our vines and using natural ways to eliminate disease. 
These are all part of the practices that we've put in place to ensure that we are doing the right thing at Fergeleachen. Thank you so much for this incredible award. Winning this award is recognition of everyone's hard efforts on the Safarm to do the right thing. And the winner of Innovative Wine Tourism Experience is Benguela Cove. Hi, my name is Penny Streeter from Benguela Cove and we are the proud winners of the Best of Wine Tourism Experiences Award. We're very, very proud to have won this award. Benguela Cove prides itself on being, on constantly innovating everything that we do. We've got amazing experiences here on the estate, which we continually strive to improve. It means a huge amount to us to win this award because here at Benguela Cove, we're all about innovating our wine tourism experiences for visitors to the estate. And of course, running a beautiful estate like this isn't a solo activity without the amazing team that we have on board here from our wine ambassadors to our waiting staff to our amazing winery team who cons consistently pick up the best award. I would like to say a big thank you to them all. The Wine Tourism Ambassador Awards returns once again this year. It is a celebration of culture and heritage and promotes sustainability, conservation and diversity in the wine tourism industry. Margie Biggs, owner and CEO of Specialized Tours and Events, provides insights on the judging process and reveals the 2024 winners. This year, we had a number of new entries and I must say that the quality of our entries this year has been exceedingly good. So we have three awards. They are diversity, the Authentic South African Experience and the WWF Award for Conservation Pioneers. The Award for Wine Tourism Diversity goes to Van Loveren. The Award for Authentic South African Experience goes to Leopardsley. And the WWF Conservation Pioneer Award goes to Dalheim. The experiences that are being offered, the judges have reported, are exceedingly high. Because, you know, our visitors come out here and they have great expectations of what we have to offer. And they are really enjoying what we're offering. So I must say to all the entries and particularly to our winners, well done, congratulations. A selection of expert judges participated in choosing the 2024 winners with the roving judges completing the overall judging process. We congratulate the Best of Wine Tourism and Wine Tourism Ambassador Award winners of 2024.